coverage of the playoffs. I'm James Cebulski. Game five set to go between these two teams that have put on a fight so far. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. And a strong effort on that play. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Lilgren. Odd man rush. Gets in front of it. Save made by the goalie. We're going to face off after the puck stays covered up. Matthews plays the game so confidently. His shock and awe zone ability is when he gets close to the crease with a nice move and caps it off with a quick shot. You guys got to look to him to light the lamp tonight. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Savard's got the puck in his own zone. Matheson's picking up momentum through center. The Canadians played along the wing. Scrum along the boards. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Samsonov's finding a way to put that playoff blowout behind him. Coming up big here early in the frame to make that save. A lot of confidence that's got to give him. Montreal's looking to break out. Here's a short pass to Anderson. Toronto's got control of it now from their own end. Bertuzzi's got it along the boards. The Leafs take possession here in the open ice. Line change. Good use for the body on the play. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. The Canadians gain possession. Oh, it's denied by Samsonov. What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Nice zone entry from the left. Shot, turns it aside. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. More than half the period left to play. We've still got zeros on the board. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Look at this! Into the offensive zone! Oh, what a save! Angles it over to Klingberg. Montreal's got the puck. Toronto's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Takes a shot, comes up with a stop. And it's a quick pass to Kemp. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They've really turned it up a notch now. And there's a whistle as the goaltender will hang on for a much needed stoppage. Marner's third eye zone ability is all about his passing skills. He can dish pucks and complete passes that are really difficult to make, guys. He's creative, deceptive, and skilled, and that's really what makes him the playmaker that his teammates just love to play with. Set is moving the puck through his own zone. Picked up along the boards by Harris. And he was ready for that save. Moves it to Nylander. Here's a shot. Wow, what a stop by Allen. The Leafs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Keeps a hold of it on the play. Quick pass to Kovacevic. Tries to get it to Harris. Puck picked up by McCabe. And now he moves it quickly to Matthews. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Along the half wall with the puck. Uh -huh, that's blocked away. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Denies him! Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Suzuki. Takes the shot. Oh, he stopped it. What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. To make that save incredible, James. And these fans are still buzzing about what we just saw. What a save that was, Cheryl. Yeah, he made an incredible save and really engaged this fan base. They're on their feet. You know they're right into the game. And listen, when they are showing you that kind of appreciation, you also want to play for them. More than half the period has expired. The game is still scoreless. and he wins the draw. Big save. He scores! On the rebound, lights the lamp for the goal. James, these are the kind
behind a pesky goal that create a ton of energy for your team. The rebound pops out after the shot. You have to have a hard stick, be heavy on it, with it on the ice, battle and compete for it. He does it and he buries it. Toronto's gone in front by one here in the back half of the first, and how does this change the complexity of the game? Well, it's a lot better being ahead than it is being behind, James, and they're ahead now, so they've got the go-ahead goal. They'll want to continue to press. You know that the coaching staff is going to be looking to manipulate the lineup to get the matchups that they want. Listen, their opponent is vulnerable these next two shifts. They need to respond accordingly. Tremendous stop by Samsonov. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Toronto still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. Jaren Crocs won the draw here in the defensive zone. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. Makes the save. Samsonov's in such great position, he's able to redirect that puck to safety right to the corner. Montreal's got it in their own zone. Feed to Evans. Slides the puck over. Evans plays it against the boards. Easily turned away by the goaltender with the glove. Takes the shot. Oh, he saved it. What a stop. Wow, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Oh, he got all of that against the boards. Oh, what a big time stop by Allen. What an incredible save in the high danger scoring area. I mean, right in the spot, he's in perfect position to make that club save. In the final moments of this period, Toronto's ahead, 1-0. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Anderson's got it into offensive territory. Works it across to Domi. Tosses it to Bertuzzi. The Canadians take possession in the defensive end. Takes the feed. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Taken by Bertuzzi. The Leafs are in transition. Dumps the puck in. Montreal's got possession of the puck. Sends it quickly to Matheson. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Tavares moves the puck. Moves it quickly over to Bertuzzi. The Canadians get a hold of it. Anderson's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, puts it wide! Toronto's got it in their own zone. Oh, wow! Devastating hit there. Oh, painful, James. I felt that one in the broadcast booth. Final minute approaching here in this opening frame. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. To his teammate! Oh, he makes a save! Just got enough to keep it out! Make a change, make a change! And that one's denied! his way to the net and launch a quick shot before anyone can react. That's a shock in his own ability. Suzuki's an important piece of this club. They'll be looking for him to produce. I'm excited to see these players compete and give their team the edge. Now back to you. There's the end of period number one. Both teams will grab a quick breather. You can grab a hot dog and we'll be back with second period action in moments. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. 
Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Well, James, this has been a really fast game. It's got a ton of pace, but the goaltenders have been excellent in this one. Back and forth action, making a number of saves. You gotta expect that it's gonna blow open soon if this continues. I'm surprised it's only one nothing. Montreal's at the back end. Sends the pass over. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. Toronto's got the lead on the scoreboard. A big reason of that has been the amount of pucks that they've been putting on net. The Leafs win the draw. Great positioning in the defensive end. The Canadians are in a tight game. They've got to start making good on all of those interceptions where they've been in great spots and finding ways to get the puck. Doing a great job defensively, but they've got to convert. Chance in front. Off the stick, and they can't complete the play. Goes right to the crease. A shot. Oh, what a great one save on the play. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 1-0 the score. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Turn that one aside. He says, let's get physical on that play. The Leafs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Receives the pass. Montreal's crossed the line and on the attack. Fires it on net. Oh, just wide. Here's a shot, and he gets in front of it to block it. Slides it on over to Domi. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Here's a shot. Just gets enough to keep it out. And we'll get a reset after the puck goes up and out of play. Toronto's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. The Canadians win it in the defensive zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. And he slides it quickly for Cooley. Oh man, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Montreal's got the puck inside the offensive zone. The Leafs move the puck in the defensive zone. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Whiteman's got it in the defensive zone. Takes the puck at the point. Takes a shot. Oh, and he just got enough of that one to keep it out. Samsonov's able to put that puck to the corner and it really keeps the puck at harm's way. No second shot opportunity. They are really buzzing here in the offensive end. And that's intercepted by the defense. Here's a short pass to Kemp. Oh, it's in the back of the net. For an old goal. While well, you don't see that very often, when you shoot it into your own net trying to clear the puck, that's ugly. The Leafs talked about getting off to a good start at the morning skate, but Cheryl, this is next level what we're seeing. It really is. Through the first period into the second here, they just dominated. The puck has been on their stick, and when they're in the offensive zone, they're not just on the perimeter. They're finding ways to get pucks to the net. The Canadians have it now. Caulfield's got it behind his own net. Allen's been so impressive, in particular in that last sequence, James, and he's out of gas. It didn't prevent him from making that save, but now he's going to get some much-needed rest as that puck heads out of his zone. Takes a shot. Fantastic save. Allen's been excellent tonight, James. I mean, the score could be a lot worse. The save percentage is great. He's doing everything to keep his team in it. They need to shore up their defensive end and get going north. And he slides it quickly to Caulfield. Puck grabbed by Monaghan. A chance right in front. Plus saved by the goalie. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. The Leafs are checking all the boxes tonight. More shots, 
four goals and a lead in the second. Deforex won the draw here and they'll go on the attack. Oh, big time save by Sensonov. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Dvorak. The Canadians gain control of the puck against the wall. Moves it to Tavares. And that doesn't reach the net. Sends a pass over. Across the line from center. Oh, just a great heads up play by McCabe. He carries the puck up along the wing. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Round along the board by Dvorak. Slides the puck to Pizzetta. Great reach with the poke check. Quick pass to Bertuzzi. Sorry for stepping on your toes, James, but that was a huge hit behind the play. Quick feed to Anderson. Chase it How did he stop that one? A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. Blocked in front. Plays out to get that one blocked. Here we go. They've really ratcheted up the intensity here now in the Ozone. The Leafs will play it in their own end. Takes the feed. Oh, he hammered him. Uh, he knew exactly what he was doing going into this along the boards, James. I love that it was a clean hit. He finishes it off perfectly. And he takes the feed. The Canadians pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Toronto's got a hold of the puck now. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. Tries to feed it over to Nylander. Toronto's playing it from the side. Taken along the wall by Caulfield. Hugs the boards through the neutral zone. Boom! The Leafs will play it from the defensive zone. Giordano's got it along the wing. And that one's turned away. Still keeps a hold of it. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Handles the puck at the point. And he keeps that one out. Toronto's got a hold of the puck. They've got numbers. Sends it across. And he had the answer on that play. Blocked in traffic. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They are really applying the squeeze. Here in the late goings of the period, the Leafs are currently sitting in the driver's seat leading 2-0. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Gallagher's got the puck along the wing. Gets the puck in deep. The Leafs gain possession along the wall. Handles the pass. down still another 20 to go here in this one join us for period number three next players are set officials are set third period action is coming up and they have dropped the puck here on the final frame well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. The Canadians' coaches are going to be telling them, listen, you got to just trust the process, stick with the game plan. I mean, through 40 minutes of play, you've dominated possession. Continue to do what you've been doing, but don't get frustrated. Don't panic and force the play. It'll come to you. Knocked away by Matheson. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Matthews. Oh, he hammered him on the play. Uh, this is just a thunder. He's got a step. And gets a piece of it with the trapper. Sansonov styled in and anticipating the play so effectively, making a huge save from a dangerous spot on the ice. He's fine. He's fine. Takes the pass. Here's a shot. Glove save. Toronto's outplayed the opposition tonight, particularly offensively, as they lead it early in this third period. 
And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Good check. Freeze the puck up. And the intensity starting to ramp up here after that hit. Broken up by Bertuzzi. Now a quick pass to Riley. There's another hit, and you get a sense that this was a game plan to go after him tonight here, Cheryl. Well, he certainly has a bullseye or target on his back, James. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Moves it quickly over to Anderson. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. We're still in the early stages of this period. 2-0 is where we sit. Toronto's got it in the defensive zone. And he loses control here. With authority. The Leafs played along the boards. Oh, and he misses on a great eight plus score chance there. Well, he's right exactly where he wants to be. He's got the puck on his stick, just unable to put it in the mesh. Oh, what a save in front. And look at this. They really ratcheted up the intensity here. Oh, look at that hit. Read that perfectly with the poke check. My word, they really got them hemmed in here in their own zone. And now he passes up to Kemp. Can't get a hold of that pass. Handles it along the blue line. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Here's a short pass to Suzuki. Gains the zone on the left wing. Skates to the crease. Scores! of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. Toronto's got the edge in the shot department, a big reason why they lead here in this third period. Montreal's gonna start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that face off. Moves it to Gregor. Montreal's got the puck along the boards. Still lots of time left in the period. The Canadians still trail by a goal here, but they are back into this one, only down by one. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. With possession along the wall. And that shot dies in traffic. Quick pass to Suzuki. Oh, and he had the answer on that one. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. The Canadians have it now. He got all of that hit on the play. Great defensive effort with the stick. Gregor's taking it from his own end. Unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. Such an impressive save, James. I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position. It's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out-battling and out -willing everyone around you. Past the midway mark in this period, the Leafs lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. And off the draw, they take the puck. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Pacetta's got it in the defensive end. Oh, absolutely hammers him. The Canadians have it against the wall. Picked up along the boards by Matheson. Toronto's in now. Quick feed to Bertuzzi. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. Toronto's motor has 
been non-stop tonight. Lots of shots on net, and they lead in the third. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Allen's got the puck, and he's going to hang on for a whistle. Well, there's only one reason that this game is tight, James. It's the guy between the crease. He elects to hold on to that one. He has been dynamite. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. Toronto's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. And it's a quick pass to the Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Allen. Sorry, James. Didn't mean to step on your toes, but that was a massive hit, and now the play continues. And he takes the pass. Scrum along the boards. Some solid defensive work in the road end with the poke check. McCabe's got it on the offensive end. But this time of the game, you know the coach is in your ear. You gotta find a way to make a good puck decision. Get it in deep. Don't give up anything offensively. Moves it quickly over to Pearson. A skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. And he takes the dish. Keeps it out by the basement with the trapper. Oh, he put it just wide as it hits the inside of the post. Toronto's trying to push the play and extend their lead here, but they're unable to do it. Puck puck doesn't go their way, and they hit the frame and out. And look at this. All sorts of pressure here building. Moving with it here in the offensive end. Here's a shot. What? There's a hit right there. Down the right side and into the zone. Takes the shot. Oh, what a save on the play. Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. Now he takes it over the line. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Standing by with her thoughts on who had the edge tonight, it's our own Carlin Bade. Suzuki's helped his team out by getting in on the scoring. He's had the stronger performance, in my opinion, guys. The Canadians take possession off the face-off. Passes it over to Savard. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Passes on over. The kids. Tries to crease. Big time stop. A big face off here inside the offensive end. The Leafs take possession here inside the offensive zone. Picked up along the wall by McCabe. Quick feed down low. Turns it aside with the save. The Canadians scoop it up along the boards. Here they come up along the wing. Great forecheck by Caulfield. Allen's at the bench alone for the extra attacker to jump on. And the game is over. And they punch their ticket on to the next round. And look at the smiles on the ice as they celebrate a dominant road win. Paying the price, winning the battles, it all paid off here, Cheryl. Yeah, it really did. And, and we're always looking at the physical side of the game, but what about the mental or emotional side? I mean, you're playing away, you're on the road, so there's a ton of distractions. So staying focused, keeping that business-like approach, that's what gets them and helps them to move on. Well, that brings the night to an end, and we will say goodbye here from rinkside from all of us here at EA Sports. My name is James Sabalski. I got to get to bed. See ya.